Greetings, hi, hello, welcome. Dag sê, dankie dat jylle hier by my kom keier. Baie welkom is jylle. Yep, you are highly welcome here. And thank you for coming to pay me a visit. I'm sitting here in my posterior, having a bit of a breather. Because I've just walked all the way from the other side there, past the rocks, over the rocks. Uh, you'll get to see that bit of it. Uh, you can skip along if you don't feel like uh, watching too much of it. But I'm going to call today's outing a day of oddities. Strange but true. Yes, uh, you'll see why. I'm going to start with uh, a little snip that I made a few days ago that I never included in anything and I thought, okay, I'll, let me start with that. And then from there on, I'll show you the coins that I found today and a few of the other oddities. So, from this onwards, we shall be showing you the funnies. The pinpointer tells me that underneath these little stones here is something of, or some here, yeah, is something of interest. Something metallic, something that I have to investigate. That's what the pinpointer tells me. Could that be it? No, that looks like a little stone. Okay, let's just put that out of the way. Right, let's see. Let me switch the pinpointer on again. It's definitely under this little stone. Now we're already taking a lot of boat scat out and one coin, one Irish decimal 5p, small, small 5p, the latest in the, the last in the series. Under here is something. Under that little pebble was something. So let's see if we scratch car. Oh, do you see what I think I'm seeing? Do you see that? Right, let's not wreck that. Let's get the tent peg and let's see if we can get underneath it. It's an Irish coin, that's for sure. Let's go to the water. See if we can clean it off to see what it is. I see a seal out there. I wonder if it's Sammy the seal. That's uh, a 10p. Nothing to get too excited about. A large decimal 10p. Good golly gosh. I'm going to have to add this to the oddities video that I plan to be making in the not too distant future. Out of that hole, I have just taken these two items now over there where you can see the scratchings there I took another one of them out now the funny thing with this lot is these are Irish pennies these are all three in the in the era of the copper clad iron steel cores whatever you want to call them look at their condition these have to be some other way have to be fresh drops but three doing one hole and the third one in a line um there's the stairs can you see the stairs there i came to walk that area there to see if the the last sort of onshore that we had brought us anything funny but look at this for funny Totally, totally and utterly funny. Strange to find steel cores in this good nick here. Who's been depositing them here for me to find? Well, I don't know. We'll see how much further we go. And if you're wondering, yeah, I found, the first coin I found was way up in the rocks. So we've got four coins and that's a Spanish, Irish, uh, Spanish, Irish, Spanish Euro 50 cent piece, which I found there in the rocks and there was nothing around it just that it's one it's a very pleasant afternoon so there you have it this is 
strange but true we'll carry on looking for more strange but trues and i will show you the strange but trues when we throw this all together the detector says there's an 88 around here somewhere so we're not done now 88 you know the last time i got something good on an 88 it was a silver but brass also reads 88 so there's something right in here I'm gonna have to pay big attention to what's going on here. This is a bigger coin. That's a UK two pence. And I think this is the new stuff. No, it can't be the new stuff. It's gotta be older. Uh it's gotta be brass. Is that brass? 1988. QE2. This is strange. It's strange is getting stranger and stranger. This is commonly called what uh, Aaron would call oh bugger and then he'd flick it over and say good day mom so we'll say good day mom but this has got to be steel core no I don't think it's steel core not ringing 88 uh, I'll check and put it in here somewhere I'm still busy closing up here when I swung the detector That's also all sorts of funny signals. So that is more or less like the steel cores with clean copper coating ring. So I'll show you what comes out of there. Promise. Because I reckon we might find something else funny there. Okay. It's in there. Help me scratch something down there. I see an edge of a coin. That's what I see. It's another penny. It's another 1994. So it's another clad penny. And the condition of it. I'm baffled. How did these get you? And with the UK2 penny. Who's tossed them a around here now somebody teasing me is neptune or lur the irish sea god lur is he at me him and his swan children anyway this is baffling but i like baffling it's five coins and you've seen them all four of the, no six coins sorry irish uh, euro spanish euro 50 cent piece uh four irish Glad pennies and one UK two penny. Oh bugger. Good day, mom. Baffling baffled I am. Okay. There we have made the scrapey scratch marks. See there are all sorts of signals. Like and a bit of and a bit of uh, what do you call it? Mineralization. Typically like them uh, steel clad coppers copper clad steels copper clad steels better so I'll show you once I have determined what's in there I'm now just presuming and assuming we're gonna have more of that weird and strange wonderful stuff okay see us somewhere so let's get the pinpointer activated Smack bang on top of it. Now I did sort of half and half have a thought there too that it could be a, a can that reads that kind of. Where is this item? I am here, right on it. There is this item. This is a UK penny. Look there. Now I've developed a theory. This is a, is that a 1971? Surely that must still be copper. UK penny. Now you know where these UK coins are going to, don't you? To Jamie, there's more, yeah? To Jamie and Rachel's charity. This is very strange. 
there. This is an Irish ironclad, whatever clad. Yeah, it's another one. Now, as I said, I was developing a theory here. There's more. It's under the stone, me thinks. Now, there we go. This is another large, this is an Irish two penny. And it's also an iron clad. So that's three coins out of this coin spool. Strange, but two coins spool hole. And I'm not got to my theory yet. There's more in here. I thought there could be more in the the large spoilie. Can you see where the pinpoint is? I had a scratchy signal. Good golly gosh. My theory is my theory is somebody lost their whole bag of poker chips. Have you ever played poker with matchsticks and or where is it? I see it. I see one of them. There we go. That's a, a, a Euro five cent piece. Same size, coppery size as the one penny. So that's another four coins. So yeah, we're at ten coins now. Ten, ten coins. No wonder we're getting this. So that's the spade. Okay. I'm going to swing the detector. <coughs> Pardon me, pardon me, bless you, bless you, thank you, thank you. Okay, ah, this is baffling poker chips. Did somebody come and take their, bring their bag of poker chips with and they were sitting down here in the sunshine or in the rain? I don't know, let's just swing the detector once more. There could be, could be something else. Strange but true. Yeah, there's most likely something else. Okay, I'm going to go away and show you whatever is there later. Unless you want to stay with me, yeah, if you because I'm just just as baffled as you are. There we go. There, it's on edge now. It's another Irish decimal penny. Another one. So that's about five. How many? I lost count now. Five coins out of this hole. Is it six? Oh, we're at, well, whatever. Okay. I'm sure it's empty now. And if it's not empty now, we'll, uh, I'll stop boring you. But this has been one of the strangest one of the strangest digs that I've had in a long, long time. I've just had a dog drop in here with me too, so I threw his ball away for him. Look, here's my friend. He brought his ball. See there? Come, give it to me. Give me your ball, I'll throw it for you. Give me your... Come on, there we go. There we go. There we go. There he goes. Look there. There he goes. There goes my friend. There goes my friend. There. Anyway, I've just hit another target uh, 70 strong let me see where it was and the strange but true day anyway I had a thought can you imagine if sounds like there's at least two there <coughs> jumpy like that I've just done a scrape there okay you've been with me all the time so I'm sorry if I haven't been showing you much and I've just been waffling but I mean, this is such a strange occurrence. So what I was saying, oh, you know what this is? This is a Doris the Duck peanut. Look there. There we go. That's something more realistic. More, much more realistic. I've found many of them. I haven't found many, many of the freshly minted, freshly dropped 
1990s iron clad steel copper clad whatever you know what I mean I'm gonna stop waffling and so my theory that I was developing here was can you imagine if they had, had their monopoly money here too and they used silver coins for monopoly money mm. or I see you and I raise you one or whatever how does it go and it was with silver coins that would be lovely wouldn't it I have found some scat today but I've just been let's say we've been screwed X drive screw bolt call it what you want to I have yeah yeah I have I'm hurrying on now to get there past the the rocks get past the rocks there without having to climb over because you can see from I'm sure you can see from here how green that lot is uh, slimy uh, for landing on your posterior as I say hurrying along but I mean I've just come across uh, you uh, don't stop swinging ever this is quite an interesting lid cover or something look there nice big piece lump of copper brass whatever you want to call it cool it's the day of oddities isn't it see if we can line you up down there to the end to the wherever there's where we're going there line you up to there all right i'm gonna pipe up and carry on going not far from that is the next oddity long nose pliers see if we can bash it and then it'll go into the vinegar at home and we can see if we can resurrect it i've got one in the vinegar already that i've put more or less resurrected oh it is this is the day yeah yeah i get these two there we go in the scat bucket it goes Beautiful signal. I've sort of flicked it out already. Let's see what it is. <coughs> Let's see what it is. I see the item. It sort of rang like a 20 cent piece, Euro 20 cent piece. And that's exactly what it is. So there we go. We've got 75 cents Euro wise now today. That's a French one. So we've got a Spaniard and a Frenchman. And I think the five cent, the euro five cent piece was Irish. So there you go. I'll just check around here, zigzag, zigzag, yeah. Because I need to get past there. I'm getting closer and closer. And closer. You see what I mean by green? Green and brown and slimy. Look at it. I don't feel like going over there. Because those are invisible slimy invisible fun and going so if, if you feel like coming around with me I'm going to bring you along and hopefully I do not sit upon my posterior because that hurts all right so I use the detector as a prop now I've got to be very careful very careful because you see this brown stuff there on there where the, the foil is very slippery <coughs> right it's not it's not too difficult once I'm down here then we cross this lot carefully gingerly Slipping one's feet along. I need to lift this up a bit so that you don't get splashed. You wouldn't want to get wet, would you? Okay, there's a gap now. Now this is the the best part of it. This section over here. Because that little point I have to cross that and that is as slippery as all day yesterday and the day before it's not never mind today as well 
Okay. Fortunately, I have the tall boots on. And fortunately, that wave caught me. There's a loose stone here, boulder here. And I've now stepped on it three times, and three times it's moved under my feet. Can you see this slippery stuff here? This is the sooner you get off of it, the better. But you can see, then I'll be up to my knees. I don't want to be up to my knees because then I'll be wet. Okay, it looks like we've got a bit of a gap now. Foot there. Wait for that one to go by. <laughs> there I go, down on my knees. Fun and games. What one doesn't do for one's art. And that's because I didn't want to go around the top because the top is even more treacherous at times. Okay, I'm basically dry. Very little in the boots because I have wet clothes upon me. So, that wasn't that bad. This last little obstacle course here. There we go. Okay. You were around with me. Did you get splashed? I don't know. I'll have to check later. Okay. This is the stairs beach. As you know, I call it. I'm going to go around the point there. I'll be going to the other beach where I did the 10 hole on earlier on in the week or was it last week or whenever all right oh I'm out of breath now I say thank you for watching I say as for always do stay safe and do stay free do stay energized and positive and all those nice things and be happy. The turn, the turns are here. Can you see that turn there plunging? There the turn has just hit the water and risen out again. They've arrived too. Saw a swallow the other day, the first one, or yesterday. The first one that I spotted for this season. So things are looking up. Indeed, as I've said, spring is, seems to be in the air. It's a bit of a warmer day today. We've had a bit of grimish weather, rain overnight, rain in the morning. Uh, it looked threatening earlier on today. Very, very threatening. It looked like uh, it was going to thunder down upon us. I may have a photo or two that I can insert here that took, we took down at the harbour. Uh, the clouds were black and threatening. Anyway, I'm going to say uh, for now, I do say thanks for watching. Uh, as always, be good, have fun, look after yourselves. Bye. There you go. You know the old stories about once a swinger, always a swinger. So I'm on the way home and I counted my coins and I had, I have 12 already and today is the 13th. So why do we not look for the lucky 13th coin I thought. And I think I may have found the lucky 13th coin. Look at that. This was very, very scratchy. This is probably a pre-decimal. That looks like half penny size. So there we go. We have 13 coins for the day. The lucky 13. There we go. Talking of the lucky 13, I'll leave you a photo here after this of the cover of my first collection of short stories. The lucky 13. I have mentioned them before. Uh, anyway, there we go. The lucky 13. Friday, no, Wednesday the 13th, and we find the lucky 13th point.